Right-hander deals. Got him swinging for the strikeout. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Well, anytime you can punch out the top two guys in a lineup to start an inning, you got to be feeling pretty good out there on the mound because when you think of just having a distraction, table setters on the base paths, and all of a sudden you're dealing with the number three hitter, any distraction can cause you to serve up a cookie, and instead of it being a solo shot, it's a two- or three-run homer. Next pitch is outside. Next Ball offering three. misses, and now 3-0. 3-0. Oh. And, oh. and that's through there for a strike. And that one is lifted in the air. Marsh moves under it. Makes the grab, and that's the inning. Middle of the first. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And digging in for Philadelphia, Kyle Schwarber. And first offering is fouled off. Now remember, Kyle Schwarber grew up in Ohio, and so he got a chance to watch a lot of really good Cincinnati Reds teams. His favorite players growing up were Barry Larkin and Ken Griffey Jr. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. hard hit in the line no trouble here puts it away for the out and there's one down and time now for the Phillies lineup we could be in for a power showcase today with the wind blowing out a lot of lift and separate Chris well, we know guys are in this era definitely trying to hit the ball in the air regardless of the conditions but I think even a little more so there's margin for error if you can get the ball in. Swing and a ball hammered left field. Banks off the wall. Turner into second, and he's got a double. Seems like he got exactly what he was looking for right there. Loud contact leads to the double. I mean, you could tell it had extra bases written all over it as it jumped off of his stick. Man at second with one away. Bryce Harper. And there's a foul ball. Next pitch is outside. And now it's even one and one. And downstairs. Swings and misses, and that is strike two. Well, and those hitters count sometimes can be a little too aggressive, and a good pitcher will play off of that. He's got to get a better pitch to hit. One out and a runner at second. Next pitch misses, and a full count now. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. And here it comes. And he hits a ground ball right side. Fires over to first. Harper retired. And now it's Alec Ball. Hit hard, should be extra bases. And that's going to roll to the wall. And they'll score first. It's one zip. And he's got a double. Went up there looking to be aggressive and got something he could handle. Put a really nice balanced swing on it. And when you can rope one into the gap like that, you're thinking extra bases from the first couple of steps out of the box. And he'll feel real good about that one. Man, it's second. Well struck right field. 
And that one is out of here. That'll fire up the dugout, and they add to the lead. It's 3-0. is a majestic blast off the bat and even though he hit it pretty well it was anything but a sure thing to get out but today the conditions were right he got just enough of it and i think the backspin really helped that thing carry and up to the plate is Uto. oh he hit him and that got him pretty flush well, not a whole lot behind that pitch it's off speed but it still stings getting hit by a fastball it's a whole different story Nick Castellanos at the plate now. Swings and misses. That's strike one. Tapped softly on the ground. They take the force out, and that'll do it. But the Phils get two on this blast. It's now 3-0. Back after this on the show. Let them know that you the best. Let them know that you the best. I ain't never seen the best. And welcome back. Second inning set to go. At the plate for Pittsburgh, Jack Sawinski. Just oh, missed. Well, after scoring runs, this is where you're looking for that shutdown inning. Get that hot team back in there to swing the bats. Swing and a ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. Well, that'll make you feel good as a hitter right there. Just kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from. And there's just no one there to knock it down. And now they've got some speed on first. So we'll see if they try to get him into motion. That's off the mark. And the count is one and one. When Nola was in college at LSU, he got a chance to play with his brother, Austin, who was the team's shortstop. And as well, his roommate was Alex Bregman. Righty to the plate. Swing and a miss. Foul ball, another 2 2 upcoming. A little early on that fastball. I'm sure the pitcher taking a note. Look for an off speed pitch on this next one. Got him looking. One away. Frustrating end to the at bat for the hitter, and I'm sure that's going to sit on him for a little while. You want to be ready to hit the fastball. Sometimes you can overthink things, and I think that was the case right there. Tosses to first, two down. Here's Miguel and Duhar. Hey. And that's in there for strike one. First pitch strike right there for him. He's going to have to do that consistently if he's going to give any length to his skipper. This one smacked out to left center. Grabs it on the run. And that is that. So they can't do anything with the leadoff single there. Now to the bottom of the second. It's the Phillies three and the Pirates nothing. Back here, Citizens Bank Park. Bottom of the inning. Now at the plate, Brandon Marsh. And a pitch. In the air, left field. Makes the grab one away. Johan Rojas stands in for the Phillies. That's a laser base hit. So the one out hit turns the lineup over. Well, clearly he was ready to hit right there. Just a solid swing right there. Caught it out front and ripped it into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. Kyle Schwarber comes up to hit here. He's over one. He's not going to get cheated up there. No, he's not. He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. What a year 2022 was for Kyle Schwarber. He won the Silver Slugger, led the National League with 46 home runs. The only guy in the majors that hit more home runs than him singing was Aaron Judge. First offering misses badly for ball one. Yeah, and that mechanics adjustment that he made in 2021 with the Nationals, as we saw it start to pay off then, really took flight in 2022. Deal, deal. Runner on the goal. Pulled hard, but it's a foul ball. Rojas at first, one gone. Runner, 
Here's the pitch. Runner goes again. That's in for a strike. And that's a stolen base. Not even close. That misses the zone. Two balls, two strikes. Chris, one of the other things to consider in terms of his adjustments with the Nationals, his hitting coach in Washington was Kevin Long. Well, Kevin Long ended up being the Phillies hitting coach in 2022. Swung on, belted. That's back there. And forget it. The Rockets one to right, and they add on. It's five zip. but he was ready to turn on the inside fastball. So direct to the pitch, absolutely blasted out of his ballpark. Here's Turner now. Doubled his first time up. That's the third. Over to Joe. And they get Turner for the out. The first baseman, number three. Ron Harper. Bryce Harper to the plate, grounded out his first time. To the right side. Tosses to first. That ends the frame. But two come across to score in the inning, courtesy of this two-run homer. And the lead is now 5-0. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Welcome back. Now it's going to be Josh Palacios. Josh Palacios. The pitch. Palacios, 27 years old. He's actually a former Rule 5 draft pick. Now a screamer into the outfield. Rojas makes the catch, and there's one gone. Batting done. So digging in, Leover Paguero. Paguero. Swing and a pop-up. Foul territory for the catcher. Real Muto makes the grab. Two down. Well, oh, that's a frustrating into the at-bat for the hitter right there. I mean, that pitch was right down the middle. I think he got a little too excited, came out of his mechanics, and instead of driving that ball somewhere, he popped it up. Unfortunate for him. Bay in the box now. No balls and a strike. Oh, one's the count. And ball one. And the righty deals. Swing and a miss. Chased it out of the zone. Goes down looking. Nothing doing here for Pittsburgh. Still looking at that 5 nothing deficit. at Citizens Bank Park. Stepping in, Alec Bohm. The third baseman. Keller back to work. Swing and he breaks his bat. To first, leadoff hitter gone in the third. This is Bryson Stott. He's already homered here in this one. Stott throws right, bats left. Hitting fifth in today's lineup. A former first round pick back in 2019 foul ball kicks and fires 
And misses inside. Clearly, he hasn't had it in this game, and looks like sooner than later, they're going to have to go to the bullpen. This one high in the air to left center. Reynolds right there to make the grab. And there are two outs. Now, now batting, batting. Catcher. catcher. Two catcher. outs, base is empty. And Real now Muto. it is JT Real Muto. This is a guy who is very highly regarded defensively. Fun to watch him control stuff behind the plate. Good game caller, good at framing, but it's that big arm that really stands out. This one in the air center field. And Real Muto is out. And that will end the inning. Offense held it. Back here in Philadelphia, John Chomby with Chris Singleton. And set to lead off the fourth, Brian Reynolds. And the pitch. And first offering is fouled off. pitch Reynolds tries to check his swing now we'll look to third and that's a strikeout Matthew Ross says he went around oh there's a three pitch strikeout he can do whatever he wants with the baseball right now now batting key Brian Hayes hit it well but fly out to the deepest part of the outfield his first time clips the corner it's 0 and 1 They say it went. And a pitch. Gets a piece, and it stays 0-2. He wanted that fastball high and tight, looking for a strikeout. Just didn't locate it very well. Next pitch just misses, and it's one and two. Swing and a miss, struck him out. He swung over top of the curveball. Jack Sawinski, the next pirate to hit. One for one with a single so far. He swings and misses at the first pitch, 0-1. There's a strike. The 2 Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. And a nice inning of work there as he sets him down. One, two, three. Impeccable command in that one. Three batters, three strikeouts. That's electric stuff out there on the mound. Four. Here's Nicholas Castillo. Billy, the right field. Nick. Nick. Here comes a pitch. In the air, out towards right center. Sawinski glides to his left. He's got it. And there's one away. Almost a loud start to the inning on that first pitch. Man, he's going to want that one back, no doubt. Out towards right center. That's well struck. And off the base of the wall. And into second with one away. That's a double. Well, that started and ended pretty quickly. No messing around right there. A lot of hitters tell themselves, line drive over the infielder's head. That's what I'm trying to do. Just keep that approach simple. And right there, it was perfectly executed. On time with everything and pulled it into the gap nicely. Derek Shelton out of the dugout, and he will make the move. Mitch Keller out of the game. And as he heads off, we'll step aside for a minute. Back with a new pitcher after this break. Kyle Nicholas will take over here. Well, they didn't get much length out of their starter in this one, so they've got a lot of outs to eat up in that bullpen. I think they'll look for some length out of him right here if they can get it. 
And now, Johan Rojas. That one to first, boots it. Throw to first, gets him. Good job to stay with it there for the second out. Up next for Philadelphia. So up next, Kyle Schwarber. He's already homered in this game. He is very much your typical power hitter. I'd say he falls into the three true outcomes category. But we've seen more and more of that lately. The ability to drive the ball to slog is getting heavily favored over any discipline or strikeout concerns. And now it's even up. And that's oh, outside. That's the 2 1. And that one hammered. That's going back. Back some more. And that one's gone. He'll touch them all. And they add a couple more. It's 7 0. Singy, the ball is jumping off his bat. Yes, it is. Tons of loud contact. Man, it's been impressive. Lightning fast hands to be able to hit that velocity fastball on the inside part of the plate. In my experience, when you're looking out over the plate, allowing the ball to travel, it's pure reaction to hit a pitch in that location. That's a tremendous swing. Turner, one, no the time. next to hit, takes ball one. One for two. Turner had a really good college career at NC State. He went to the 2013 College World Series and led all of college baseball with 55 stolen bases that season. Pretty incredible. Left field, Reynolds on the run. Makes a nice running catch. And that is that. But the Phils get two on this blast. It's now 7-0. You're watching Major League Baseball exclusively on the show. New inning getting started. And now the first baseman, Connor Joe. Connor. Well, every pitcher Joe. wants run support, and having a lead is nice, but it can be challenging for some guys. I think keeping the mindset to attack instead of trying to be too fine and have too much finesse, go after hitters and get quick outs. 0-2 oh, as he waves oh, at that one. Another 0-2 oh, count right here. Pitcher just in the driver's seat. He can go anywhere he wants to go right here. Next offering down in the dirt. Just nope, missed. Ball. Really good take, especially with two strikes. And now it's filled up. He's really tightening up his hitting zone with two strikes here. I love it. The other way. Makes the catch. One down. Oh, next to the the catch. So next to the plate for Pittsburgh, Andy Rodriguez. He's 0 for 1. That one's in there. Strike one. Well, in an 0 0 count, not every strike is a good strike for a hitter. I like the plate discipline there. Makes the grab, and there's two out. Now that the designated hitter. Miguel. Two outs, base is empty. Next to hit, Miguel Andujar. 0 for 1 so far. First pitch, and he just misses. That one hit to right. Castellanos gets under it. He's got it, and that'll end the inning. And 1, 2, 3 go the Pirates. They continue to trail 7-0. Back here at the ballpark, we head to the bottom of the fifth. And now, here is Harper. Chris, you think about memorable performances in the home run derby. Well, the Nationals had the All-Star game in 2018. And, oh, this one high and deep. Way back there. Pulls it in on the warning track. 
Plenty of extra carry on that ball to right right there. Almost got out of here thanks to the win. It's whipping right now. On a line, base hit. Right there, does a great job of staying in the big part of the field. Man, there are a lot of hits there. So digging in Number now for Philadelphia, Bryson Stock. One for two with a two-run homer back in the first. there and it's on one always tough to turn two on a speedster like this it's even harder with him coming out of the left-handed batter's box you really need something to hit hard on the ground that they can handle to turn too quickly foul ball still low and two Right-handed reliever. Liner, base hit. Lead runner makes the turn at second. Into third now. So runners at the corners and one out. He went up there and got it. With two strikes, I'm not going to leave this in the umpire's hands. I'm going to be aggressive. It was in a location where he could get those arms extended that he loves to do. So nice job right there. Coming back in that at bat. Real Muto in now. Takes ball one off the plate. First and third, one down. Check swing, but he went too far. And it's one and one. At the belt and fires. Well struck left field. Hits the top of the wall. The run scores from third, and it's an eight-run lead to second, but way too late, safe there. Everything came together for him. That's a good sound coming off the bat, man. And as he connected out front and lifted into the outfield, that's one of those swings where you just don't even feel the ball hit the barrel. But that's a pure stroke. Second and third, one gone. Nick Castellanos stands in for the Phillies. Line drive, base hit right center field. One run is in. Rolls to second. He pulls into second as they score a pair on the play. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. On the mound now for the Pirates, number 52. I think it's got to be a little tough coming in out of the pen when your guys are trailing so big on the scoreboard. Just doesn't have the same intensity to it, but he's got to find a way because these batters count the same for his stats, obviously, regardless of the score. Brandon Marsh steps to the plate. Line drive, and that's a base hitter to right. He was all over that one. Nice line drive to the pull side, met it out front, but just stayed through it nice enough and ripped it into the outfield. One down. Johan Rojas getting ready to hit. Third baseman playing on the edge of the grass looking for the sack bunt. That one back up the middle and it gets through. Runner from third comes across. It's 11 to nothing. Not in time. He's safe. No waiting around right there. He was ready to swing it on the first pitch. Timing on the swing was good. Able to shoot the ball up the middle. Didn't square it up as much as he probably would have liked, but that's a good approach paying off. So the Philly batting order turns over. Kyle Schwarber now at the plate. And the first pitch misses for ball one.
And a swing and a miss. Ball, Activity in the bullpen. Dowry Moretta up and loosening in the pen. Righty delivers. That one missing inside. Not really attacking on the mound in this at bat. All breaking balls. So that makes me think they're not really wanting to challenge him here. The 2 1. That one ripped. Nice grab. Well, oh, baseball can be cruel, can it? I mean, sometimes it gives and sometimes it takes away. He did everything right on that swing, but he's got nothing to show for it. Trey Turner at the play. One for three. Puts it in the air out towards left center. Turner is out, and that ends the inning. So nine batters come to the plate. Four of them score. We're through five. It's the Phillies 11 and the Pirates nothing. Top six at the plate for Pittsburgh, Josh Palacios. Pitches in for a strike, 0-1. Broken bat, and it's popped up. Not in time. An infield knock to start the inning. Singy, that was a close play. And it looks like they're considering challenging the safe call. Really? Well, they are going to challenge the call. And so now the decision will be made by the umpires at the replay center back in New York. Another look at it. Singy, are you seeing enough to change the call? Yeah, I think so, Boog. I mean, it's close, but I think after looking at it a few times, we can see that this guy's probably out and could be a good use of the challenge right here. Looks like we've got an answer, and he's out. They took a chance with the challenge, and it paid off for him. Leover Paguero, the next pirate to hit. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. All ones that count. Swings through that one out in front that time. Foul ball, it stays nothing in two. The line to kick the pitch. That one down the line. And he takes it himself for the out. The batter number three. G1 Bay, the next pirate to hit. Who's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. That one misses. And that's ball one. Bay, in his rookie season, 23 years old. And he's a native of South Korea. Next offering is foul back. Now, there's a pitch we haven't seen in a while. It's going to be tough on the hitters if he can mix that in whenever he wants. Out towards right center field. Castellanos on his horse. Tracks it down for the out. And that'll do it. Make it six shutout innings for him out there now. Heart of the order, 3-4-5 coming up. It's the Phillies 11 and the Pirates nothing. And welcome back. Bottom of the sixth go. inning. Here's Phillies. Bryce Harper. The first base. And the right hander back to work. That one is absolutely belted. That's got a chance. And out of here. Bryce Harper goes deep, and they boost their lead. It's 12-0. With a low 90s fastball, you have to live on the edges and hit your spots. If you don't, you'll get hit hard. Really good swing there. Patient and waited for it. It was like BP all over again.
And now it's the cleanup spot for the Phillies. Alec Bohm. In the air right side. Palacios has a beat on it. Makes the grab one down. It's a good recovery though after giving up the home run. Not, not allowing it to stay in the Second head but going man. to work at the next hitter and a tough one at that. And now for the Phillies. Bryson stop. And first offering is fouled off. Right-hander kicks, deals. There's a swing and a drive. That one carry. And that ball is gone. He powers one out to right field. His second home run of the game. And they add a run. It's 13-0. swing on that one and everything was on time took a direct path to the ball excellent extension and just drove it out of here nothing better than when the ball jumps off your bat like that one out base is empty JT real Muto steps in and first offering is fouled off real Muto was an outstanding high school quarterback was signed to go play quarterback at Oklahoma State but when he was scouted in high school he was mainly a shortstop. Marlon Scouts decided after seeing him catch one time that if they drafted him, they would convert him to catcher. And now the right fielder, Nick Castellanos. Really good piece of hitting last time going to the opposite field. Castellanos, a former All-Star, a member of the 1,000 Hit Club, he joined the team as a free agent. Two down, nobody on. Swings through that. Line drive, base hit. Joey gets on base and keeps it going. So two down, and now here's a speed threat. Outfielder, Brandon Marsh. Liner, and that should be extra bases. And that's going to roll to the wall. Castellanos on his way to the plate. He scores, and they extend their lead. He's in there. Puts a run on the board and picks up an RBI. Nice line drive to the pull side right there, but he didn't spin off of it. That's the key. You still have to extend through the baseball in order to hit a line drive like that. with a new arm on the mound. Dowry Moretta. And with the big deficit on the scoreboard, he almost has to just put that out of his mind. Every outing matters for relievers and their numbers, but I think it's tough to get up for this type of appearance the same way you would for one in a close game. Rojas now at the plate as he swings through strike one. Just a slow ground ball this time. And he picks it up and he'll put it in his pocket. Kicks and deals. Fights that one away and the count remains 0-2. Man, he'd like to have that pitch back. Next offering popped in the air, right field. Palacios makes the catch and the inning is over but the long ball was working in this inning not once but twice seventh inning coming up it's Major League Baseball on the show we go to the top of the seventh here's the left fielder Brian Reynolds Nola back to work 
right through there for a strike. Usually when a pitcher's had a dominant outing, he has filled up the strike zone and he's gotten ahead in the count with first pitch strikes. Well, that's exactly what this guy has done in this one. Over 70% first pitch strikes. Catcher coming out to check on him. It looked like it got him on his back leg. So you'll wonder if that might be a problem for him in terms of pushing off the rubber. Yeah, it's a great point, and we'll have to see how he looks. But to me, it appears he's moving pretty well. I think it's just going to sting for a while, but hopefully nothing more. Key Brian Hayes, the next to hit. That hits oh, wow. the dirt. 1-0. and oh. Well, the leadoff man gets on. You want to minimize the threat by playing sound defense. Hopefully the pitcher can get a ball on the ground, and they can roll him up for two. Rojas makes the catch, and there's one away. And now the center fielder, Jack Sawinski. Bounce to the right side. Sneaks through. Base hit. Reynolds round second. Heads for third. Now the tag at third. And they got him. In this situation with a single to right field, the runner at first cannot try to make it to third. You've got to get back into this ballgame. And every base runner counts. Connor Joe, the next pirate to hit. That's in there. Strike one. And that one clips the corner. Sawinski leads off first with two down to the inning. The next pitch misses. One and two to count. And that's the strikeout looking. Clip the bottom of the zone with a curve for strike three. This and here's the Phillies leadoff man, Kyle Schwarber. And the way he's going in this one, we've been waiting for his spot to come around again. All right, listen, everyone, stop what you're doing right now. This guy's got two home runs already. Now he's going for number three. The pitch. And a foul ball. Moretta, a very difficult guy to get hits off of. It's really rare for teams to string stuff together against him. He wins every pitch, and for a hitter, sometimes a victory is just fouling off one of his pitches. That's a bullet, but it goes foul. Boils the two strike pitch and he'll see another. And here it comes. Gets a piece and stays alive. Ripped on the ground a second. Over to Joe. Schwarber out of the play. Unless he beats himself, somehow can't find it, doesn't have the control command that day, you can pretty much forget about it. In the air, left side. And it's caught for the out. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. The that front, front shoulder coming open instead of staying right. closed. If he does that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. Harper stands in with two away as he takes a ball. way and it's gone he made him pay for that one and they add to their lead it's 15 nothing that thing down the line and everyone had to hold their breath until it clanked off the pole and every time that happens it just kind of feels like a trick shot or something but really it's just a stroke of luck that it stays fair long enough 
Now it's the cleanup hitter for the Phillies, Alec Bohm. And first offering is fouled off. As a hitter, there's even more pressure to take advantage of any mistake, right? Yeah, and you're hoping that, you know, somehow, some way, whether it's a hit by pitch, a walk, something bad happens because outside of that, stuff is just too good to fail. Peguero throws to first, inning over. One scores in the inning coming on this solo home run. Eighth inning coming up. It's Major League Baseball, and it's on the show. We're at the top of the eighth, and now the switch hitting catcher, Andy Rodriguez. The line of the pitch. And there's the strike. Comes up empty on the swing, 0-2 now. Big time jam right there. I hate it as a hitter, but standing in center field, you can't help but chuckle a little bit. Three. Set down on strikes. He's got to be frustrated with that call. Didn't agree with the call at the plate right there. Couple again, a game like this, that's just too close to take. It's a blowout game. Guys have been out here for a while. Umpire's saying, hey, let's go. Cut it loose. Swing the bat. And now Miguel Andujar. All one's the count. Next one misses, and the count even one and one. The one one is fouled off. Bounce to the right, knocks it down, but he wins the foot race to first. Good job of knowing how much time he had there. Josh Palacios, the next pirate to hit. That one's in there, 0 and 1. Boom, that hook's looking pretty sharp today. Just a solid pitching performance so far, and I really think it's because of that curveball. Next offering is in for a strike. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the A.B. going. The pitch. Swing and a pop-up in foul ground. Did he trip? What happened? Sniper? Great effort. That's how bad he wanted that one. Head first dive. Two. On the ground, right side. Gathers and throws to first. And it's a one, two, three inning. Go down quietly. Start the bus. They're down 15 to nothing. Bottom of the eighth. Here's the second baseman, Bryson Stock. And a pitch. Swing and a ball lifted left field. Reynolds hauls it in, and there's one away. Here's the Phillies catcher, JT Real Muto. That's out to center field. Sawinski under it. Pulls it down, and there's two gone. So two down now, and here is Nick Castellanos. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Good eye right there. Pretty easy to give up on that pitch right there. Started on the edge of the plate with the spin. You know it's going to finish well off the plate. 2 0. And there's a strike.
Two balls and a strike. Here it comes. Shoots a line drive single into right center. Around first, heading for two. The throw in. There's the tag. They get him. And that's the inning. Back here in Philadelphia, here's the shortstop at the play. Leover Piguero to the right side. And foul ball. Jose Alvarado gets the call from the pen. And this guy can bring it velocity-wise. Alvarado. Swing and a high fly ball out there towards left field. March calls it in, and there's one away. Now it's the second baseman, G1 Bay. Alvarado, in his sixth season, he features a sinker, a cutter, a curve, and he works in a four seamer. The 1 0. That one, a triple digits. Definitely not a pitch location you're expecting up there as a hitter when you know the guy's got a good sinker ball. If you can get in that location, boy, you've got to look top to bottom, and that's going to make it very difficult to hit. The next offering misses, and it's to a two. That one out to right. A dive, and he can't haul it in. Around second now, going for three. And he's there at third with a triple. Up next for the Pirates, Brian Reynolds. In there for strike one. One away with a runner at third. Here's a rocket out to left. Makes the grab. Runner tagging from third. In there safely. And it's 15 to 1. Not fooled at all right there. He was clearly all over it. But sometimes you hit it too hard and right at someone. You're looking for one of those loop hits to get a knock sometimes. Hayes stands in here, leaves that one off the inside. Next offering is in for a strike. Two outs. That's in there. That's strike two. And now two and two. Is just one strike away. And a swing and a miss, and that is the ball game. Well, I don't know what they did in the cage day or on the field for batting practice, but when you win by double digits, something is clicking. That batting coach feels pretty good about himself right now, but more so the players. They can't wait for the next one. Come back out, score, and get another W. A 15-1 final score in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew, I'm John Chompy saying so long. Four hours.